Okay, so listen, guys, this is uh, Frontline Records Rewind, and I'm here uh, doing this live interview with Roger Dale. Thank you. Yeah, hi, Roger Dale. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, and Doug Theme. Hello. Doug plays guitar, and Roger plays bass, and uh, Roger flew in from Nashville. Yep, Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, it's good Good to have you here. Now, are you going to do uh, Die Happy or Vengeance Rising tonight, both? What are you guys doing, both uh, it's gonna be. It's going to be basically a Vengeance set. Uh, basically no Die vengeance. Happy this time around. We're just going to focus on Vengeance. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you mean that, that being the title of the of the band, right? The Vengeance. The band yes. is Vengeance. You yes. guys aren't actually going to focus on Vengeance, are you? <laughs> just <laughs> play on words. Oh, okay. Yeah, my producer's laughing, but... Not real, not real <laughs> not hard, <really. laughs> not real hard. Ooh, it's hot in here. So, did you guys rehearse? You ready we did to rock? Last night we had a rehearsal last night, and it went very well. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things you got to iron out anytime that you hadn't played together in like forty-five thousand years. Uh, yeah. But it, it, what real, it's, what's funny about it is once you start playing, everything returns. Yeah. You've probably done that with your yeah. band, Blood Girl. Yeah, it's like riding a bike. Person, all of a sudden, men, and then toward the end, we're actually getting tight. Yeah. And it's amazing. So uh, I experienced that last night, and just the fellowship of being with everybody is more That's wonderful cool. than anything. Well, you got those you got the CDs. You can listen to them. You've listened to them for years because you know, you know the stuff. So, yeah, that's cool. Now, do you play a lot in uh, Nashville? Uh, yeah, I do the uh, church circuit. I, actually, I've, I've been playing the Nashville church circuit for a long time. When I say circuit, whenever I'm in a, I'll, I'll be in a church for a while, and I'm always, uh, always playing uh, bass guitar or electric guitar, whichever one they need. Uh, right now, uh, I've been in one church for like five years. Uh, it's, it's very challenging to me musically. A lot of times they'll hand me cheat sheets, not cheat sheets, but actually lead sheets and say, here you go, go for it. Uh -huh. We're going to rehearse Wednesday night. We're doing the gig Sunday. And um, I like it. It keeps my musical chops up. And serving the Lord, still serving the Lord. Man, that's yeah. what it's all about. Now, when you guys came out with Vengeance Rising, that was, I mean, that, that, that album blew a lot of people away. It was heavy. It was heavy, it was intense, it was like, and uh, I don't know, it was like pioneer type stuff. Definitely for Christian music, right? Yeah, th there was not a lot on the market like that at the time. I mean, th there was always the mentors that we had, like Bloodgood and uh, like Messiah Prophet and stuff where we, we had our, our, there's the legacy bands out there that really kind of inspired us to be in the music too, but uh, yeah, we kind of took it to a different level in the sense that there wasn't a lot of aggressive metal bands out there for speed metal type stuff. And, mm. and that's the direction. We, we wanted the thrash type music, the, the really raw, intense type feel to it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now we did play a, a gig together, didn't we? Blood Good and, and uh, Vengeance Rising. It was at the Bicycle Arena or something? What, 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 oh, the first Mardi Gras thing. Oh, the Metal Mardi Gras. Metal yeah. Mardi Gras. And you had really long, straight blonde hair. Is that correct? Yeah, that that was a while back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and and your neck looks like it's in pretty good shape. But I mean, you know, because you were whipping your head. You're, around. you're my inspiration, Les. You know, you, you were are. whipping your head around, baby. <laughs> I am telling you. Ooh, Roger. When it, when it comes to that first album, it was all about perfect timing. Uh, sooner or later. Orange County Punk was going to get with L.A. Metal and, and make it yeah. speed metal, and that's what happened, and we were right on top of it. We had the Crucified that was doing kind of punk, and then One Bad Pig was doing uh, that kind their, their thing. Their, yeah. they, they had a classification by themselves, but for us, uh, we were the very first, and yeah. a lot of people were quite shocked. In fact, the Sanctuary crowd was, there was a lot of Sanctuary people said, uh, even Bob Beeman after the first show was like, well, I don't know you guys, you might be taking a little bit too far. But that was the signal to us that we're, we're right on schedule. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. I thought it was, I thought it was really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, I was side stage. Yeah, I, on our first <laughs> tour from that album, we would go into small towns and there would be people protesting us playing in their town because yeah. we were kind of too edgy for them and they didn't see us as true Christians at that time. And so yeah. there's obstacles to overcome just in bias. You know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, true Christian or what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're proclaiming Christ and you love Jesus, I mean, that's, that would be Christian. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I've been under a pastor, his name is Josh Kugel. And uh, when he was in seminary, he drove everybody crazy with our stuff. And he told a story uh, not too long ago. He told us, look, my dad seized all my stuff and he separated it. He said, now this is okay, which was Stryper, and this is not okay. This is of the devil. And of course, Vengeance Rising was one of those. Just because of uh, the preconceived idea of how the devil sounds mm. uh, and just the yeah. intensity of our music. But, um, you know, what we did, it was all mm, any kind of vocals that we that we did was undecipherable. You, could, you just couldn't. You just couldn't understand it, so it was the word of God. They were reading it. That, yeah, you had to um, print the it lyrics. Out. Every every album we put out, it, we that was the main thing was uh, word of God and lyrics and and uh, Martinez. He put it together. It was fantastic. Uh, so they were reading the word of God and they got saved. Uh, yeah, that's how it all works. Because the word does not yeah. return void. Yeah. The word is the word. It is. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever, right? So it's still all the stuff you guys did is still current because the gospel is current. Yes. So, <laughs> well, I was saying, uh, Roger, that all the f music that you do or did is still current because it's the gospel, and the oh, gospel is current. Yeah, and for some reason, the, the, this whole genre is still alive today. You know, uh, my son says, listen to the new stuff, and I'm going to sound like just what we did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, th there is some variations and stuff like that, but uh, uh, it's just still alive, which uh, it's kind of surprised me. But even my dad, mom and dad said, you know, rock and roll is not here. It is, you know, it's dead. It's not going to last but three or four more years. Well, the, even this speed metal thrash stuff has lasted a long time and still here today. Yeah. Well, and Frontline has done a great job with uh, especially Adele Meisenheimer, who has pushed our music and. Yeah, I like to thank her every chance I get because Absolutely. she's out there just really in the trenches, you know, making it happen. So that's awesome. So what's what's on the agenda for you guys tonight? Are you you're playing, right? Yes. You are playing. Yes. You feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Feeling up to it, yeah. All right. <laughs> and uh so you your set list. Now it was I correct, Glenn said you had about seven tunes tonight that you're doing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's it's all four original members tonight, and we've got a special guest singer, Jim Settle from Hands of Fire, which we're excited about. Uh, we're just going to go out there and do what we've always done. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's always success, and I'm excited to see everybody here. Uh, you know, I'm very excited about the any gig, and especially this one, because we got a lot of support. We're, we're um, promoting a, a 30 year anniversary of Human Sacrifice. The uh, the demo tape, which I'm very proud of, um, that's going to be sold tonight, too. That started everything. And, and so tonight oh, is a cool. celebration uh, of what we did, a celebration of today, and a celebration of what can happen in the future. Yeah, and I'll tell you, the new fans are going to love it because they're a whole generation. So. <laughs> or is it two generations? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I've noticed is like, uh, metal musicians, we don't have to be 20 years old to succeed. I look at a lot of these guys that are playing now, and they're just, I mean, we're the same age. I'm like going, my gosh, uh, the fans, they never die. And uh, there's there's some people, it's like metal, that's it. And that's all that's all they're going to listen to. Yeah. Until uh, they're, you know, six feet under the ground, you know. Right. That's, that's the gig. And so I'm excited about that. I don't feel like I'm out of touch with, with anything. I don't feel old, which I'm not. And in fact, there's... I don't see anybody old at this show. Well, you know, we're going to live forever. So we're rather young, actually. Yeah, well, you can't stop the clock, but still, we're, we're, we're kicking butt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we're taking names also. <laughs> and we're, hopefully they're getting in the Lamb's Book of Life, right? In his book. So, um, yeah, well, it, it's, it's good to see you guys. And um, where's Larry Farkas? That's the big question of the day. Uh, we try not to ask that until the last minute. Okay, yeah. Cause, uh, but he, he takes care of his brother. His brother's got a lot of... Uh, yes, yes. And he is just a servant. And he, He's a sweet his man, His whole isn't life he? has been dedicated to loving and caring for his brother, so... Yeah. We, yeah. we know he's got all his right intentions there, and so he'll be here. Yes, he's he's a good man. He'll be here. He's he's spreading the love, I'll tell you. He, he is a servant, and he always has been a servant, and he is the most honest man on the face of the earth. Um. I've always felt that, and he's got a lot of love in his heart, and he, he, like Doug said, he sacrificed his whole life to take care of his brother, mm -hmm. 
and he's still doing it today. And that's why he's not right here right now. He's got to take care of business at home. As soon as he has a chance to get away, boom, he's here. We're going to do the gig. You know what? I feel that from you guys, too. Uh, when I did the first interview over at your house, Doug, I felt that. I felt the respect and the love for one another. That uh, you know, It was very pleasing to God, the brothers that, uh, that love each other and are in unity. That's awesome. So what a pleasure it is to be with you again. So rock on tonight. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. All right. That's it for Frontline Rewind with these guys. Uh, like Vengeance Rising. And you know, we're all going to die happy one day. Uh, this is Roger Dale Martin of Vengeance. We're fixing to kick some major butt tonight. So get your rear end over here. SoCal Metal Fest 2017. <laughs> Of change. That's right. People fail. What was wrong about a man? 